Good morning. It, I am about four days out from the NGA Jimmy Kobe Classic. I'm feeling awesome. Seeing changes every day. Uh, my weakness was my legs, but now, uh, now that I'm getting them in condition, they're actually a very big strength. So I'm a tall, I'm a tall guy, heavyweight competitor, and I got some heavyweight meals now. So I'm on my way to Bono Fitness. I'm gonna train some arms. Gonna show y'all what got me to the level of muscularity I have in my arms. They still need improvement, but the journey of getting there is, you know, half the fun. Gordon? Yep. No. <laughs> Four days out from the NGA Jimmy Kobe Classic and I feel good every single day. I'm seeing changes every single day. Um, hopefully I'm going to show you uh, a couple of new details in my arms that the diet has brought out. And I'm going to go with you step by step on how I built my arms. Because by no stretch of the imagination, my arms are not big. But you can, you know, I'm maximizing my genes to make my arms look the best that they can. And I hope that's what you can do in this video too. All right, we're starting off with the tricep single arm rope extension right here. Um, as you can see, uh, I warm up and stretch first, and I like to work my way up to use kind of a, what I feel is heavy. But if you notice on the way up, that's the portion of the rep where the tricep is actually stretching, and that's the most important part of the movement. So you wanna you wanna kind of accentuate that stretch, resist on it, because that's the portion of the of the exercise where you elicit the most muscle damage. After that I superset with a different variation of a, of a push down, just a different angle. Um, I really feel the different angles when I do that. It, it creates an even larger pump and I feel I effectively stimulate the triceps. You got everything? Yeah. Okay, chest up, fingers forward. Next up is Double a bicep forward. cable curls with an easy bar attachment. I like to lean forward a little bit and keep my elbows forward. That helps me feel like I take the tension off my front delts and like I keep it totally on the biceps. Again, I'm, I'm accentuating the portion of the rep where my bicep is stretching, which is a, when I'm coming down with a bar. So I resist on the way down, squeeze on the way up, and then just repeat until I reach failure. Get that into frame. Good? You know it don't look big. Good? You know it looks small. Your turn. Next up is a single arm dumbbell extensions. I like to do these with a free weight. Again, I'm resisting when I come down with the dumbbell. That gets the tricep the stretch it needs. And I actually saw Ronnie Coleman do these in a video and I, I just recently started doing them, uh, just taking my time, not using too much weight. I start off with a light weight, work my way up to uh, what I feel is, is very heavy and I go to failure on every set. So my, I, th I think my triceps have really responded to these. I superset triceps with a uh, dumbbell concentration curl and uh, again I just really accentuate the portion of the rep where I'm coming down where the bicep is stretching and I get uh, I get a killer pump from these uh, you know like I said I'm uh, one week out from the Jimmy Kobe Classic and you can already see some pretty good veins coming through some striations even though I'm I'm very pale, you can still see the really good striations coming through. Now I'm checking out the pump. Turn to me. Huh? Got really good separation in the bicep. Uh -huh. Really good definition going on. It's what you need. Except I do a Action. seated variation of the dumbbell concentration curl. Um, as you can see, my elbow is kind of angled differently. And as long as I go to failure on every set, I like to change up 
you know, tweak the exercise. I can do a standing concentration curl, I can do a seated concentration curl, or I can do them with cables or, or dumbbells or even barbell concentration curl. I just like to switch up every set, get the most out of the exercise. And that's a really good shot of the biceps. Got veins in the shoulders, veins all squirming through the, the bicep there. <clears throat> and always go to failure on every set. You have to take the muscle to where it's never been before. Even pre-contest. Pre-contest, you, you, your intake should, you know, your supplements should be where they need to be to recover and still grow. So. Yeah, buddy. Front double biceps pose right there. Right here I weigh about 218 pounds. Good. Definition coming through even from a front, from front arms extended pose. One of my favorite poses right there, you see the veins inside the middle of the arm. Tricep looking nice and defined. You can see the brachialis. Separation between delt, tricep, bicep, brachialis. You need all that definition for competition. This is a reverse grip press down. Just another angle of a press down. I really, really like the feel of these. Um, as you can see, I resist on the way up, just like with any press down, and I go all the way to failure. Uh, sometimes to uh, intensify the set, I do a drop set, which means you know I, I drop the weight a little bit to where I can still eke out more reps, and that creates an even bigger pump. Next up is alternating dumbbell curls. Um, I like to sometimes supinate the wrist to where my palms are facing the thighs at the start of the movement and uh, my pinky comes up towards my shoulder at the end of the movement. Here you can see some really awesome separation between the delt, bicep and tricep. Good striations and veins. Um, this is what it's all about, you know. This past year, is the first year that my arms actually look this way. So it's a def definite uh, motivation increase or whatever you call it, you know. When you see yourself looking like this, you can't help but be motivated it's to good angle, right? push yourself that much more yeah. and, and get to even another level beyond that. Next up for that brachialis and that forearm for all the side shots is dumbbell alternate hammer curl. It gets the bicep, I feel it gets the bicep thick from the side and in poses like the side chest and side triceps gives another dimension to your arms. <clears throat> see the side shots, you see that, that muscle right next to the triceps. Cool. All right, some of the lessons we learned today is to accentuate the eccentric portion of the rep, which is a stretching portion of the rep. And after a proper warm-up, I highly recommend that you always lift to absolute failure. You have to take the muscles to where they've never been before.